Good morning fishing freaks. Today we're gonna fish the super six sack from Six Sense. I just thought we go out and do a little slam and try to catch a fish on every single lure. Let's hop in the truck. See you guys on the pond. Start off with that super glide or speed glide. It's more like a top water bait. And right now it's still pretty much top water conditions. Ah, oh, See how that thing. Oh, they're popping out. It runs definitely a lot more aggressive as an S waver. Some of you guys know it already from the frog fishing video I did a couple of weeks ago. The conditions changed completely. Everywhere on the bank was so much grass. They're basically completely gone. There in the back is a little bit left over from it, but the most stuff is gone. So I hope we can catch a donkey today because I know there are good fish in there. Let's get to it and try to catch some fish. The weather looks actually really good for the light baits, for all the baits that came in the zigzag. This one's and oh, there's big fish jumping over there. They're hitting top water. Oh, got one. Yup, got one. Come here, buddy. Ooh. There we go. That's the first good fish on it. Hit it right away, first cast. Oh, those hooks are good. Smell like a carp. Yes, sir. First fish on a speed glide. Not the biggest fish, but a nice healthy fish. Yeah, first fish of the day. I'm pretty happy with it so far. First cast here in that corner. I knew they're gonna sit here. Let's go and catch some more fish. Woo. We may be here now for like 15 minutes. It was the first cast on that speed glide in this corner here. That's a good start in the day. No, it broke off. Awesome. That's actually good, I broke off there and not on the actually fish because that would break my heart. There you go. I broke off right in the middle, not even on the knot. So let me rig this up quick. Tying a new leader on. Those are both a little bit bigger lines. So probably you remember, I'm gonna use a blood knot. For everyone who wants to know how to tie a blood knot, I'm gonna pop up a video on the end where I'm explaining how to tie my best six knots and there are two connection knots involved. One of them is the blood knot. The other one is the uni to uni. So if you're interested and want to know how to tie that knot, just watch the video to the end and then you're gonna see the knot tying video. Just clip the tack lines off. So now I'm gonna switch to that hybrid swim crank. So I tie this up here and then I tie already that little square bow on my floor carbon rod. The weather is actually perfect right now. It's a little bit cloudy. The wind picks a little bit up. So I'm really confident to fish moving baits. Um, for this one here, I would like to have a little bit clearer water, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna fish that hybrid here. It's like a little bit deeper diving bait. And it's a little bit more noisy, but I'm actually like because the water clarity is not not the best today. That this guy is gonna put a little bit more noise noise out and it's a little bit deeper. I don't know if I'm supposed to fish that thing fast or slow. Gonna figure that out. Ooh, it runs really really cool. I like that. Got him. Yes, sir. Got another one. Same size. Might be the same fish. No. Looks like those are the deal today. This guy looks like he's spawning. He has a little bit bloody tail. Two casts in on a swim crank hybrid. Ooh. This is so much fun. But we already two lures down. This one went on the that hybrid. I really like that lure, really like that action. So now let's try to catch one on the square bill. The thing runs awesome too. 
Yeah, so far I'm really happy with my six cent stuff. Oh, that's a fish. Come on. I don't want to pull too hard on him. Oh, I lost him, I guess. Yo! That's why I didn't want to pull too hard on him. I knew they were sitting there on the grass. It's just hard to fish. So, we're rigging up here right now the shaky heads from them. There's a really, really good setup to fish here right now. Green pumpkin was a little bit blue. I think that's the deal here today because the water is a little bit stained and um, I'm gonna fish it for a little bit like this. If, if I don't get bit, then I put a little bit of shark truce here on the tail. Try to catch one on the shaky head. Only thing what's a little bit sucked here is that's a 10 pound leader. <laughs> And here's a bunch of grass. And if it's really a big one, I, I have to go in the water. I can't pull through all that cover. Whew, I'm already sweating. Grass. Oh, I think I get a bite. Got him. Nothing big. Ah, he pulled me in the grass. That's no good. There we go. <laughs> Told you nothing big. A little dink. But we got him. That's the fish on the shaky head. <laughs> little dink. But they're all so pretty here in that pond and healthy looking. I never had like a skinny or like weird looking fish here. Bye bye buddy. That's a good morning already. The wind picked a little bit up. That's good. Would be nice if that scrabble would be noisy. But I take it. Had a hit. Had a hit. Oh, I got stuck on grass. Never know. Okay, let's pack it and let's go over there. There, there's another pond I want to try. But so far, I'm really, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> So I made the move to this pond here, or for this, this part on the pond here. It looks so juicy. I hope we're good here with the punching rig and maybe we're lucky with the square ball. Let's check this out. Can't go over here. Oh, we can go all the way in the front here. That's awesome. So let's start out. Oh, I need my neck gator. Right back. Alrighty, it looks a little bit like Scar and carp situation here. A little bit. Beady beady. You know, look at the butterfly, he got stuck. Huh, there you go. So I guess it didn't make sense to walk all the way around here to fish here because it's super shallow and there's no cover. It looked like from over there, it looked like um, I can't fish here the whole cover on the side, but that's not the case. I think we have to go all the way back. <laughs> See you there. The big grass patch there in the back, that thing is probably loaded now. Because those here in the front are all gone. So there's just three little patches where maybe is a fish, but I'm pretty sure they moved all over there to that other one. I don't want to lose you. I don't see you. Oh. This looks like good grass, but if they don't want to bite, they want to bite. 
So I try it all with the pumps here and then we move on again. This has not happened. What the f So now you guys see it. Even 65 pound braid can break super easy. Unlike that sharp edged grass. Just cut it. That's it. I don't think I have another heavy weight with me. That's too sad. Let me check this. So we're gonna toss a couple lines here in the channel. And then we're probably out here because it's so uncomfortable to fish here right now. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Got a fish. Got a good one. Right when we jumped hit the water. That's crazy. Ooh. Come on, still. Cut this fella, you're right when it hits the water. I did I was one crank in. There we go. Whew. Finally. So we have one more left. So far. The super sack from Six Sense is money to me. Those are so good lures. I think even if I decide to start my mystery tackle box again, my subscription, I'm probably still stay with the super sack because this is really, it's really good stuff. Throw the crankbait for a little bit, just because <laughs> this thing is fun. Really. Like, oh, that's small too. Again. I don't even know where it went. This is annoying. I have the feeling it's here somewhere not in the water because I didn't see it. Didn't see a splash or anything. So it looks like I lost my loft scrabble. Could we cut already a fish on it? So we know it works. So that's it for today. We're back at the house. I was super confident to get a bite on all of my moving baits. They came in the box. This was the perfect pawn to use that lures. I'm pretty sure we would catch one on the punching rig if I didn't broke off and it's got so hot and my batteries died on me. I think it's more important we caught a fish on everything a lure. It's more important to see the lures are running right and they look good. But anyways, this was a great day of fishing. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. If so, please go ahead, give that video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. I hope I see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.